Look at this garden. <laughs> nice. Where's the water feature? It's hidden in here somewhere. We'll find it. You have a little paradise back here. Congratulations. And look at Bubba out there. He is the king of the castle out here, huh? He loves the fishies. Yes, yes she, she does. does. She, loves, she loves coming to great grandma's house. Talking about the algae. I used to manufacture that here. If I could have gotten money for it, I'd have made money. With your old pond. With my whole pond. Yeah. But I don't do that anymore. So where are we at, Mr. Ostrander, on this rainy day? Battle Creek? Well, we're in Richland, just outside of Battle Creek. Okay. This is Karen and Gary's house. They are awesome clients of mine, and uh, we've known them for a lot of years. They were friends before they became uh -huh. clients. And she had a pond, and we completely ripped that pond out. Okay, and, and I could tell we've got a landscaper here. <laughs> oh, she is a master gardener. And well, I she... could tell. Wow. You know what I like about Hold this up. place, Greg? The swing pool is way out in the back of the yard. Yeah. The pond is way up in the front. Oh, my goodness. I'm Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy. This is my channel, Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy, and it's all about showcasing how people live the aquascape lifestyle. Even on a little bit of a drizzly day, look at how spectacular this water feature is. Wow. And the first thing, Chris, that I notice is how it's integrated with the house. Oh, yeah. Right here's the main viewing area, and they look out over this. What's up, buddy? <laughs> I love the destination boulder too. Right, Walk right. right out. I mean, it looks like it's always been here, which right, is an yeah. ultimate compliment to a pond builder. Yeah, well, thank you. The other pond was out there in the middle, kind of just plopped in there. Yeah, what was it? What was the other one like? It was kind of small, and uh, there was a lot of space in between the pond and the patio. So we brought everything closer up, made the pond a little bit bigger, used some larger boulders, and it's very simple. This isn't a very complicated design at all. So what would be involved with building this? This pond is about 18 feet long, 15 feet wide. We got 12 or 14 feet of stream up there. It's running on a 9PL. We've got an 8.0 skimmer and a 6,000 biofalls. So what would a package like this from Living Water Landscape go for? Yeah, so you would get all the stuff included, a turnkey operation with 12 or 15 tons of rock, the liner, the pumps, the skimmer boxes, everything included in here. You could do this for around $20,000. Wow, that is a steal for completely transforming the space. So they got a swimming pool out here. They got a pond up here fantastic living area this will just draw you outside and spend time but just look at this garden everything is so intricate in here beautiful views of the, of the entire yard so many blooming flowers this is just spectacular hey there you are the Meyer lady hey, <laughs> so tell me a little bit about how this whole experience came to be you had an existing water feature when we built about 21 years ago this was a field and there was a low area right here. So I had them dump some topsoil, and as the topsoil was there, I thought, oh, this will make a nice garden. So that started this whole thing. Once I got the garden, a few years later, we had a little puddle put in, and that wasn't enough. And then I got this man who really knows what he's doing, and he made this beautiful little pond. How long ago was that? Three years ago? Yeah, the, Three or four the years ago. What was the difference between the pond that was here and the pond that was done by a certified Aquascapes contractor, Chris? First one was a hole with some water in it. This one actually has depth. Fish can stay here all winter long. We have the it's two Beautiful. feet deep, Chris? Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. So two foot deep in zone five. No problem. The falls, we, we placed it this way so that we can hear the water. Which you can. And see it. I mean, this is your kitchen here? Yes, this is mm -hmm. the kitchen. And then this is what I call my garden room. And in there, there's a bird listener. So we hear everything else. Okay, so, so we can hear the pond. You're around. Uh huh. Very nice. Along with the birds. What do people that come to your house for the first time say? Because they're not expecting this. No, it's a surprise. Because when you walk through the gate, it's where they usually come. That's where or, I came. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's like, wow. I didn't know there was. And you have fish? <laughs> yeah. So, what do you say when they ask you what kind of maintenance is involved with a water feature? With Chris, it's become very simple. Building an ecosystem pond? Yes. Before that, it wasn't and he shows me lots of different ways that I can make it easier to maintain mm -hmm. and he's always there for me when I need him 
Sorry about that. <laughs> because I really like the pond to be clean and clear so you can see the fish. Yes. And now they have this new product. What's that? Uh, the auto doser? No, the gummies. Okay, the pond gummies. Yeah. Which well, you just... We're full sun here, so what happens is when the weather changes, cool or hot, sometimes because of where this pond is located, things can change rapidly. And the gummy that came out this year mm -hmm. also helps with those rapid changes. So when things happen quickly, the gummy gets us right back in. Yeah, when there's a lot of rain or a, a heat area, you can just throw a gummy in and then do you have an auto doser on here? Or? There's an auto doser on here. There's also an ion gen on here. So the auto doser adds bacteria to keep the water in pristine shape and the ion gen gets rid of string algae that would grow in full sun. Correct. This has got to be your therapy. I'm looking at this garden and oh, I'm like, is. this has got to be your therapy. It is. I patterned this whole thing here after a special place that we go to on Mackinac Island. And mm. when we're up there, you see the horses clomp by, but here, I have my fish. I can sit here sometimes and just watch the it, fish. It, 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 the it's stuff. the most relaxing thing. Time it just is. melts away. People won't sit and watch their flowers grow for hours on end, but they will certainly sit and watch their fish and the birds coming down and bathing in the stream. And That's right. Yeah, you have a little paradise back here. Congratulations. Thank you. It is, it is just spectacular. Thank you. Describe to somebody that has never had a water feature why they would want one. Oh, there is no reason why you wouldn't want one. You would want it for the relaxation, for the peace, to get out of yourself and look at nature. God did all of this. I just take care of it. Amen. So, I'm just his, his caretaker. And look at and look at Bubba out there. He is the king of the castle out here, huh? <laughs> you want to see somebody that really likes it? I should bring my great granddaughter out. Your great granddaughter. Yes. Unreal. There she is. Yes, there I'd like is. to see her. Hi. Oh, Aww. How cute. She just is about 17 months. Yeah. She loves the fishies. Yes, yeah, she, she does. does. <laughs> Can't wait. She, she loves, loves coming to great grandma's house. She yeah. Does. Spectacular. I wanted to tell you uh, yeah. before I forget, you yeah. were talking about the algae, the green mm -hmm. stuff. I used to manufacture that here. <laughs> I mean, if I could have gotten money for it, I'd have made money. With your old pond. With my whole pond. Yeah. But I don't do that anymore. That's right. You got an aquascape that's, ecosystem. That's right. Which is the gravel, the rocks in the gravel, the plants, the fish, the mechanical filter, which is your skimmer filter over here that captures the surface debris, and your biological filter up top. Terrific. And Chris really did a beautiful job. Like, that's a pudding stone. It's a special stone. Uh-huh. I can stand on this ledge, or we go over here, and I, I come over here at night at 6 o'clock, and I call <laughs> the fish, and they come. Uh huh. And I sprinkle the food. See, they're not coming now. So they know it's, it's not six o'clock at night. Yeah. <laughs> I sprinkle the food and the fish come. That is your ritual. What a great routine to have. I love it. Over to it, and I, I will not feed them. Love this destination, Boulder. Look at the edging with just the sedums growing over to help soften up the boulders. The plants, the landscape, everything is just so natural. Once again, you see rocks and then you see plants, it's not just all the ring of pearls look. This is amazing. This yard is exquisite. And what's awesome is this is her therapy. I love how it's the whole backyard living. We talk, call it living the aquascape lifestyle. People say, why would I want a pond when I have a pool? Or why would I want a pool when I have a pond? And the reality of the situation is these are outdoor loving people. I think people need to spend more time in nature with their kids, with their grandkids, with each other. And this is a perfect example of that. What a spectacular property. And if you're inspired too to live the aquascape lifestyles, check out the link below to find a certified aquascape contractor by you. And you too can start living the aquascape lifestyle. I love my job. We're downtown Battle Creek, right? Right. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this garden. <laughs> nice. Look at this backyard. It's nuts. Where's the water feature? It's hidden in here somewhere. We'll find it. Live the aquascape lifestyle. And you must be the gardener. Come bring the dog out. Let's see the dog. Hey, pup. Hey. hey. That's a guard dog, huh? My guard dog, yeah. I'm the pond guy, Greg. I'm Teresa. Hi, nice Teresa. To nice you. to meet you, too. This is an incredible property you have here. Oh, thank you. How long have you lived here? 17 years. Well, it looks like you've been gardening for 17 years. Okay. But I have a question. Oh, it's over there. Yeah. That's where the pond is. I'm like, where's the pond? The pond. Uh, can I see it, Teresa? Yes, you All are. right. What's the puppy's name? This is Mr. Mojo. Mr. Mojo. I love it. He's quite excited to come out. Yeah. Man, 
and it smells so good in here. Thank you. Man, you are a busy beaver. I'm enjoying it, every bit of it. That is yeah. so, oh, look at this rocking chair right here. That's so what we call living the aquascape lifestyle. Beautiful, look, the fish are ready to get fed. They, they like to eat Dr. Pepper? Yeah, diet Dr. Pepper. <laughs> it came out of an aquascape tub, though. I could tell that's aquascape fish glue. That's good yeah. stuff. So Chris, how did this come to be? Talk a little bit about this project. How long ago did you put this in? It's absolutely gorgeous, and I love the location because you can hear the sound from inside. Yeah. They spend a lot of time right in there on that porch. So there's two water features here. The pond was here first, and you can't. Oh, wait a minute. Is that a pondless waterfall over there? Yeah. Yes, it is. Oh, it's not connected. I could see that little sneaky guy there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so go on. Tell us the story here. Actually, I had you come out here and give me an estimate because I had seen a uh, bubbling rock. I remember, you remember that? right, yeah. And you told me how it would be a bubbling rock because I've been trying to do a rain garden and it wasn't very successful. Okay, how long ago was that? Five years. Five years. Okay. Okay. Yep. And he said, he looked at me after he had the figures and said, you know, for just a little more money, I can get you a pond with fish. Yes. And <laughs> aren't you lucky you listened to him? I am lucky. Because when you have fish, you realize that it's a fantastic hobby. There is a reason that I'm not the bubbling rock or the pondless waterfall guy, and I am the pond guy. And it's because <laughs> fish and plants bring so much enjoyment, it's don't so they? Much fun. Yeah, we just really, really enjoy watching the fish. I mean, you come out here every day, right, to see what's going on? At least once a day. And it's because yeah. therapeutic. It is, absolutely. So this has been five years now? Yeah. Yep. So for someone that hasn't lived with an aquascape water feature for five years, is it a lot of maintenance? Is it not a lot of maintenance? How would you yeah. describe it? It's hardly any maintenance. Amen. Really, I keep it open in the wintertime. So the birds can come down, the, the squirrels? Come down and the fish can breathe, but very seldom do I need the heat or anything. It just, I let it run all, all winter. You know? So you let the waterfalls go? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you just keep, you top it off periodically with water with their ice. Right. So right. even on a small pond like this, you can keep it running year round. Yes, I keep Just it running year at, round. We would only recommend adding water if you get a lot of cold and get a lot of ice buildup. Yeah, if it gets too low. Mm -hmm. Once in a while, if it gets like polar vortex, vortex, I have to put a heater in it. And, but obviously the fish make it in what, 24 inches deep here? Yep, yeah. 24 inches deep. Yep. This pond is amazing, but the whole yard is amazing. What do people that come here for the first time say? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's like the number one people thing people yeah. say when they see yeah. these things. But I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, nice clear water. Describe how you built this. What, what did you end up doing? And, and why? Why is there a pondless waterfall and a pond next to each other? That's a little unusual. It is a little unusual. So first we built the pond. We were here for a couple days to build that. This is a small... We did it in one day. We did it in one day? We did it in one day. day. Okay. <laughs> oh, it rained on us too and we did it in yeah. one day. So isn't it amazing what one day can do in terms of changing the space? We probably have seven or 8,000 pounds of stone uh -huh. in this one. And then the pondless waterfall that you see over there was added a few years later. Right. So after the pond was built, you added a pondless just because... ugly water. Uh, yeah. Water barrel there, and I sat here and looked at the fish, and I looked at the empty water barrel, and I thought we got to do something about that. Uh huh. There was a big rain barrel over there. And, and you so know, you added a first flush filter, it looks correct. like. So yeah. this tops it off. So the rain that hits the roof goes down, goes through the first flush aquascape filter that I could see right there, and then it flows into the pond or no, pondless? that goes into the pondless. Uh-huh. And then that just added some more sound over there, right? Another waterfall to add interest on that side. Yeah, why not? And all that rainwater, the reservoir is a little oversized on the pondless, so she can actually hook up a spigot and use a hose, and she can use the water that has fallen from the roof, stored underground, and water the plants around here. And what's amazing is is that landscape plants love rainwater more than city water. Right. This is a beautiful property. You should be very proud. I am. I really appreciate the help I get from Chris, too. So you would recommend living water landscapes? Absolutely. 100%. <laughs> So look at the algae, that's healthy. You see the rocks in the gravel, some of the rocks have algae on them. You can see where some of the koi have nibbled off it. Koi are river fish. They have whiskers for a reason. They love to root around and to eat the algae. And if you don't have that, if you just have a bare bottom liner pond, they won't be as healthy and they won't be as happy. It's the little touches like that. A log with an impatient, with a waterfalls. Just look at how soft and natural this entire thing looks. Just terrific. This is what I love about my job, coming out and seeing how each water feature is a unique work of art, one of a kind custom creation. Just look at this garden. This is amazing. If you're inspired, like I hope you are, to live the aquascape lifestyle yourself, please check out the link below to find a certified aquascape contractor in your area so you can be as cool as these guys and Mr. Mojo. <laughs> I love my job.